batteries, 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 you know. I think some people think I don't. I'll do a little uh, chat about batteries because someone asked me a while ago to, to do the pros and cons of lead versus lithium. I don't really think that's a fair comparison, to be honest. It's kind of like apples and oranges. They're both fruits, but uh, they're quite different. Um, the pros, the pros for lead, flooded lead, is is cost. That's it. And if you need to um, weigh your boat down, you know, like this, um, when you take two big heavy engines out of the boat and gas tanks and stuff, the boat's gonna sit funny. They were built to hold a certain amount of weight in a certain part of the boat. You take that out and you've got to replace that weight. And um, that's the advantage of LEDs. I mean, you get good high quality golf cart batteries, flooded lead acid, and yeah, they'll spin your motors for you. Now they're not gonna spin them like lithium batteries well like lithium batteries don't suffer from voltage sag um, so you'll you'll get you'll get more um, life out of them for sure so you know I would say like a 200 amp hour pack flooded lead acid pack is probably equivalent to 100 amp hour lithium and uh, but at the time when when we did this conversion Pricing lithiums in 2013 was a lot different than pricing lithiums today. But I had a quote done at the 2014 um, boat show from one of the vendors, and it was close to 20 grand to get two 48 volt packs for the boat. And um, <clears throat> now I think uh, to do 72 volts a side, it would be substantially less. But at, in 2014, there, were, there weren't the options that you had today. There, the do-it-yourself crowd really wasn't established at all. Um, you know, nowadays you have so many options, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> who knows now with the, all the supply chain issues. But, but um, yeah, I mean, like you, in 2014, it was like spend seventeen hundred dollars and get um, good golf cart batteries, just over seventeen hundred bucks. I think it cost me, or spend under twenty to get lithiums for a prototype that we didn't even know if it was going to work. So there was no way um, that became a <laughs> you know a, a budgetary decision, and um, like I was fully aware that lithiums were a, a far better performing battery if you compare them one to one for sure. Um, there's also some safety precautions you need to take into uh, account. I'll never stop saying that, you just do. Um, and there's no way at the time, even now I would never take a, like a battery pack from a, uh, you know, an EV that could come out of a write-off like that's like you don't know what kind of impact everything went through forget it man like there's no way i've had a few people say oh you know why don't you get like a nissan leaf battery pack and piece it all together it's like i don't honestly want to do that anymore <laughs> i just have no interest in that if i buy lithiums i want something off the shelf you know i want everything to be thought of and I don't want to have to be the one to do that. I just want to make sure it's done, right? So if it's got like the proper casing in case of thermal runaway, something that's got like an exhaust or something out of it. Um, I've seen, seen some uh, packs like that that are pretty cool. Um, maybe liquid cooled, I don't know. But the reality is, is that, is that, um, you, you just to do to do the comparison the pros and cons like I know people do it all the time but it just comes down to dollars and cents and uh, people say well you get so many more cycles out of lithium that's true but you don't take your boat out that much I mean like you know in the Pacific Northwest and I'm sure it's like this in other places in the world you might get 
20 opportunities to take your boat out if you work like say a nine to five job and um, I don't know if the weather is uh, perfect every weekend which we know it never is but you might go out 20 times if you're retired it's a different story you know if you do it for a living we're not talking about a work boat we're just talking about like a weekender right so the reality is is that when you say oh well you <laughs> when people say well lithiums get a uh, thousand cycles or more that's great but you can get five to 700 cycles out of uh, leads and so that'll last you I mean my first set of leads lasted me six and a half seven years and I still I still use them and I'm using all the good ones for my house bank I swapped the old house bank out and I just took all the good leftover um, batteries from my packs my original packs and use them for my house bank um, because they're in great shape not all of them were toast but now I've got these brand new crowns yeah if I had more money for sure I, I would go with him but I, I don't have the spare cash this is just a uh, this is <laughs> this is a, a hobby boat and you gotta you gotta mind your uh, expenditures when it's a hobby I don't make a living off of any of this stuff I'm just sharing my experience so I don't know if that answers your question, but the reality there is no real comparison with uh, lithiums and flooded lead acid when it comes to uh, battery performance. It just comes down to cost and use case, right? So the other, like I said, with weight, you know, it's nice to just make use of the heavy batteries to balance this boat out. Um, otherwise, I'd have to buy like lead ingots or something, or I guess I could put a generator in which I have often talked about and never do and um, or a bigger water tank or something like that but the reality is the weight comes in handy and um, yeah that's all I can really say now if you want to talk lithium versus a or, uh, AGM versus wet um, like flooded lead acid yeah that's a conversation I will tell you my opinion on and I think AGMs are a waste of money. I really do. Um, reason is, is because they're almost three times the cost. Well, let's say two and a half times the cost of flooded lead acid. They have all the same inherent problems that lead acid has, like with uh, voltage sag, all that crap. They're heavy, if not heavier. Sure, they're low maintenance because they're sealed, so you can place them in areas where you don't have to worry about any of the fluid spilling over. Okay, that's an advantage, but is it is it is it uh, two and a half times the cost worth advantage? I didn't even structure that sentence right. I didn't, but whatever. Uh, you catch my drift, right? So I even I thought about going um, AGMs last time around and man the quotes were so high they were almost as much as lithiums and I was just like if you're gonna spend that kind of money just go lithium man so go one end of the scale or the other you know and and I'm not talking about like AGMs for your house bank I know a lot of people are going, oh, you know I have AGMs in my house bank and it works great it's like the solar panel thing right people say oh I have solar panels and they work fantastic yeah they work fantastic for your 12 volt system when you're on the hook for a week <laughs> but uh, you know anyway I'm getting all crusty being crusty the clown booter mm -hmm.